Number 65. Calculate the number of moles of HI that are at equilibrium with 1.25 moles of H2 and 1.25 moles of I2 in a 5.00 liter flask at 448 degrees Celsius. Then they give us this equation, so that's the first thing that I'm going to write out. So we have H2, and they don't give us any states here, which is you know, not too good, but I'm just going to assume that they're all gases, right? That, uh, you know, they gave me moles. So I'm just going to assume that these are all gases. Hopefully in like a quiz or on a test, they should give you the states, especially for the equilibrium chapter, because remember, there are certain states that are not allowed in the formula. Okay. So let's write down what they gave us. So they told us that we had 1.25 moles of H2, so that's this guy. I got 1.25 moles. And they said that I also have 1.25 moles of I2. So maybe I'll bring this a little bit over. And then I have 1.25 moles of the I2. And they're basically asking for the number of moles of HI. So moles, question mark. Okay. And I think we're pretty good. All right. So they gave us the KC formula, right? Not the formula, but they gave us the value here. And they're searching for the number of moles of HI. Well, whenever they give us a KC value and they give us starting information at equilibrium, they did say that all these values were at equilibrium, we can use the KC formula, right? The KC formula is this general formula right here. We just have to make it specific for what we have here. Now, let's just, I guess, start there. The Kc would equal to products over reactants. And I'm assuming that they're all going to be gas or aqueous, so they're all going to be used in the formula. So let's see. We have concentration of HI. Cool. And remember, you got to raise it to the coefficients, right? So there was a big 2 over here, so I do have to raise HI to the second. And now let's go to the reactants. I got H2. And that didn't have a number in front, so that's just raised to the first, right? Because anything that has no number in the front is just a 1. Then I'm going to multiply by the next one, I2. Remember, in this formula, it's multiplication, not addition, when you have multiple reactants or products. And then the same thing here. I don't see a number. That's 1, so you could raise it to the first. But now, what does these brackets mean, right? I keep writing these brackets over and over and over again. The brackets stand for molarity, capital M. But uh-oh, we have moles. I can't plug in moles into this formula. I'm only allowed molarity. So how do I go from molarity to, or moles to molarity? Ah, this is going back a couple of chapters, right? Remember that formula, guys. Rem molarity equals moles divided by liters. So in this case, I have to take into consideration that I have a 5 liter flask. So let's go. I have 1.25 moles. That's this. All I have to do is just divide this by the 5 liters. And I have to do it for both of them because I have to get molarity values, right? And it looks like it's going to be the same. 1.25 divided by 5, I get 0 0.25. And that's the numbers that I'm allowed to plug into this formula. So tricky, tricky. Just remember, always, if you're using KC values, only molarity is allowed in here. Okay, so let's see. They gave us the KC value. They told us that it was 50.2. So 50.2. We don't know anything about this guy, right, HI, so maybe I'll label this as the X. But now I know that H2 is 0 0.25 molarity, and then I2 is also the same thing, 0 0.25 molarity. So let's plug in our numbers. So 50.2 equals, let's see, so we have X squared, right? We don't know what that is, so I'm just going to say x, and it looks like it's being squared. Then it's being multiplied by the 0 0.25 times by the 0 0.25, right? 
Now, just for the sake of um, space in this video, what you can do is I'm just going to multiply these together, but then you see how this is cross multiplication. So you can multiply 50.2 times all of this together. If you want, you could also get this as one number and then do your cross multiplication in, in a different step, but you will get the same answer. So let's see. So I get x squared equals 0.25 times 0.25 times 50.2. So at this stage of the game, I'm not really going to round because that's not my final answer. And now let's get x by itself. So it's being squared. So remember, the opposite of being squared is the square root. But I got to be fair. I got to do it on both sides. And when you do that, you get rid of both of these. So now you just have x, right? And x, go back to what we were solving for. It has everything to do with hi, right? And this is the concentration of hi. Because remember, only molarity is allowed in the formula. So this is the concentration of hi. Close that up. And now let's see. So I'm going to take the square root. And let's see, I'll say 1.7766. And that's molarity of hi. But they wanted moles. This is the molarity. This is the molar concentration. How do I go from a molarity to a moles? Oh, I got to do this formula again, right? I have molarity. I have the liters. So I can solve for the moles. If I just rearrange this formula, remember, moles is molarity times liter. So let's see. Moles equals the molarity, which is what we just found out, 1.7766. And then... I just have to multiply it by the liter. It was a five liter container or a five liter flask. And there you go. So the moles of HI would be 1.7766 times five. And looks like we need three sig figs, so 8.88. And that's moles. And there you go. So this one was a little bit tricky, guys. Just know that when you use your KC formula, only molarity are allowed in the formula. So you have to always convert first, and then we got to convert back. That's what, exactly what we did. All right? So hopefully this makes sense. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you in later lessons. Have a great day. Bye-bye.